Aquarius, this is your love reading for July 2020. Did a pre-shuffle, we're going to get right to the reading. Let's see what your situation is, Aquarius. Okay, you have the Two of Swords reversed. So you finally made a decision about something, or, you know, a decision was finally made within your relationship. Let's see what your partner's energy is. They got the Page of Wands, so they have uh, some renewed passion or or they have the desire for some renewed passion. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily towards the relationship or they kind of just have this like idea or this somewhere they want to go. They want to move forward with someone, so maybe, or with, so, oh, I said someone. They want to move forward with someone or something. So maybe that is the decision that's finally been made. Um, maybe they were in this energy of like wanting to before and then it's been made. But let's see what your current situation is. You got the three of swords. Okay, so this is, this is, I didn't want to say it, but now we got this card and it, it's looking like a breakup. It's looking like they kind of have a new passion for somebody else and a decision was finally made whether... You know, whether that was you cutting ties because you kind of saw that they were being a little bit of a player or whether they cut ties, it's looking like a breakup and it's looking like they are leaving you for somebody else. But you know what? It's the page of wands. So I feel like they're going to regret this big time, but let's see. Let's see uh, how it goes forward from here. So Aquarius, your desires, you have the... Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you you know you're heartbroken over this. You do not want them to walk away. You don't want to walk away yourself. Or uh, they, I mean, it could be someone or it could be something. Like they could be like you know they wanted to I don't know move to LA and become a famous singer or whatever. That's just an example. And whatever it is that they're kind of want to go towards, you might have had to break ties and you don't want to walk away from them or. You, know, you just don't want it to end, but there is some kind of breakup happening here. Um, or if it never got off the ground, it's, you know, not getting off the ground, but you, you're still holding on. And their desires, they have the world reversed. They feel as though to really achieve what they want to achieve or, uh, you know, they feel as though to really achieve what they want to achieve, that they have to move forward towards this passion or... They don't feel as though that they're going to get what they need out of a relationship. It's not going to be their happily ever after with you. Your challenges, you know, so far, it's a little uh, sad, but, but let's see what happens. Your challenges, uh, Aquarius. You have the five of swords. So you have to really be careful about, you know, questioning your motives right now. Like, is this, like, do you want to just, are you really heartbroken about this because you really feel as though this is your meant to be? That you really love this person or is this an ego thing you're struggling with that right now you're questioning it and their challenges they have the five of cups they don't want to leave this relationship they definitely feel as though um you know they do feel connected to you but for whatever reason um they also feel as though this is getting in the way of something else or they feel that somebody else might be a better match for them uh but they but they're not you know they're not completely convinced either way and neither are you a breakup is happening but neither of you are completely convinced that this is the way to go you're both kind of you know you have mixed feelings about it which is natural for anyone but but you know either way it's not like one one of you or the other of you is completely like no forget this person so you know there is you know there is going to be there's going to be sadness on both sides your outcome you have the high priestess reversed you are going to, by the end of July, it's still not going to be completely clear. You're still going to be battling with these like inner, you know, what you might get back together, you might not, but you're still not going to be sure. You're, you're still going to be questioning yourself if this is the person you're supposed to be with, if it's just an ego thing, you know, if you're like, why are you so heartbroken over this? If it's just an ego thing or, you know, why do you have such a strong desire to get back together? Uh, you're still going to be kind of working on that internal battle and their outcome they have the three of wands so they are going to move forward with whatever this is so 
So I feel like this is this is definitely this is a breakup. They're gonna move forward with whatever it is, and you're gonna be left struggling. And that is not you know the happy ending I like to see, but it is what it is. And let's get a little bit more clarification on the outcome. We're going to use the uh, Return of Spirit Oracle deck for a little bit more clarification for Aquarius uh, for Love July 2020. vibrational. So it's, it's going to be a heartbreak and you're going to be in this, you're going to bring, be in that heartbreak vibration. So this is not necessarily going to be your month Aquarius because you are going to, the, what this is saying is the sooner that you, you know, and you can't necessarily force these things, uh, but the sooner that you kind of come out of this energy, the sooner that things will take a turn. We have to go through, I think this is, this is going to be about embracing what the events over the course of, over the, course of the month, embracing it, um, forgiving yourself, knowing that, you know, ev that the universe has a plan for you and that it's, you know, eventually the tides are going to change back in your favor because we all have, you know, bad times and good times. And while you might be struggling with something right now, this is going to be a learning experience for you and embrace that, you know, and whatever that means for you, if that means, you know, listening to sad music or hanging out with your friends, you know, there's all this advice about going through a breakup and like, you know, live your best life and da da da, but like that may not necessarily be your style and that's okay. And reminding yourself like whatever you need to do you know, is within reason, whatever you need to do, just embrace that and the, and trust yourself to know what you need to do in order to heal. Because if you trust yourself and you heal, that's when the tides will start to change back in your favor. Okay. So Aquarius, the choices are up to you. And, uh, I hope that you come out of it with, uh, you know, some new lessons and renewed hope and uh, that things change for you next month. Thanks for listening.